Hey, Riley Chase here with Hostify, and today I just want to make a quick video to show you um, how Hostify works, uh, what it does, and uh, why you should use it. So, um, first of all, I'm going to get started uh, creating a server. To create a server, you just purchase one of these plans here, and I've already uh, clicked this button, gone to the checkout page, and entered my credit card information. So I'll go ahead and click purchase here, and uh, once this page refreshes, I'll be... Um, looking at a a uh, transaction completed page and then I'll take you to the dashboard and show you what the dashboard looks like. So here's the uh, purchase confirmation page and then if you click um, view dashboard, this is just a summary of your credit card transaction. Um, so now it says your server will is being built. This will take 5 to 15 minutes. You'll get an email when it's completed. And so um, I'll take these this uh, this five minutes you know wait time to talk a little bit about uh, why I started Hostify and um, why you should use it and all that kind of stuff. Now once the server finishes building, um, as you can see in my uh, my second camera here, I've got this uh, I've got a Unify access point. I'm gonna actually show you uh, how to get that connected to the server once it's finished building. Um, but yeah, going back to the the homepage for a minute. Um, just for those of you who don't know uh, what Unify is, Unify is a uh, line of uh, it's it's in the software defined networking is this new thing where you can um, instead of logging into all your different network devices and making the configuration on them, you can have uh, a server that controls all of your network devices. And so uh, Unify is a line of network products made by a company called ubiquity and this is uh this is ubiquity's website um and it says uh more than just wi-fi they've got um they start off just doing wireless and uh they had a server where you could you know control the wi-fi network settings from one place uh since then they've expanded that line of products to also include security gateways you know like a router they've got switches and then um they've got uh cameras that's a different server though that's the unify video server and then they've got now they're trying to do like lighting, so that's also a different server. That's the uh, it's an LED server. So um, with this product here, uh, this Unify product um, that Hostify does, it's just for the network devices. So the security gateway, the Wi-Fi, the switches, and um, it's a central place that you can manage all the configuration of these devices. Now they sell uh, these tool, these uh, little servers mini servers called cloud keys and um basically what those do is it comes with the controller software pre-installed so that you don't have to set up your server um they also release the unified controller software for free so you can install it on your own server which is what hostify does they install we install the the software for you um let's go check on that server and see if it's done yet nope i still got a few minutes to talk so um, the reason that I started Hostify is because, um, I got started with Unify and I really liked it. Um, uh, I got started with the, the cloud key product. Now the cloud key, it only works for, um, small installations of like 20 devices or so. And every time that you want to, um, install devices at a new location, you have to get another cloud key. So you buy a cloud key for every location and then before you know it um, you're managing a bunch of these little servers and um, they can be finicky sometimes they'll um, have problems or crash they'll need to be restored and if that happens you got to visit the site and you've got to do the restore like restoration process from backup so they they're not very scalable is the problem if you have more than a few sites you're going to want to run your own server and so I uh, looked at running my own server um, in the cloud on DigitalOcean. And um, so I got started doing that and I figured out how to do it, install the SSL certificate, install Unify, um, figure out a backup strategy and all that stuff. And um, after a while I had uh, a few servers I was managing and I did made some servers for some friends. And um, yeah, so I, I, uh, I thought about it, I was like, well, you know, it, now that I know how to do this, it was kind of hard to get started, but now that I know how to do it, it'd be pretty easy if I wrote a script that could do it for other people. And so um, that's what basically what Hostify is. It started off as just a script. I mean, it still is the, the brain of it. It's just a script that creates a server on Vulture 
Um, Vulture is a it's an IaaS uh, infrastructure as a service provider similar to DigitalOcean. So um, they take care of the data center and the hardware of the server and all that stuff. But basically, um, what I did is wrote a script that when you sign up for Hostify, um, you know, you make a payment and then the script runs and it builds you a server on Vulture. It logs into that server, installs Unify, installs the SSL certificate, and then it runs each night and like does a backup to um, DigitalOcean Spaces. And then I've expanded it to, um, you know, I have like a monitoring system in place. I do different health checks. It emails me if something goes wrong with one of my servers. So, um, so that's pretty much, uh, what Hostify is. And, um, now why, why should you use Hostify instead of rolling, uh, rolling your own server? Well, um, you can definitely roll your own server on Vulture, DigitalOcean or whatever. Um, this is just, um, a platform that I made that's easy to use. And, um, you know, instead of spending a few hours trying to figure it out, you can just come to the website and it'll just install it in five minutes for you, as you'll see um, when this completes. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, another benefit is, uh, you know, it's it's kind of a community platform. Um, you know, I, I help you with support and stuff. And because I've got hundreds of these servers out there, um, if you run into a problem, I've probably seen it before. And, um, so it's kind of that crowdsourced knowledge uh, and support going on. And, um, another benefit of it being part of the, the Hostify community is, uh, the update process. So when an update to Unify comes out, um, you know, if you've got hundreds of devices or clients on this thing, you're probably scared to update it. Well, you know, they go through an extensive process before they release it to test it. But then I also go through a process internally to test updates before rolling them out. And, um, you know, I test on my own server first, then I test on some of our smaller customers on Hostify. And then, you know, once I verify it's working for a while, then I push the big red button and pushed out to everybody and all the big servers and stuff like that. So um, there's a little bit of a vetting process that goes on. And um, it looks like this server just finished. Cool. I was just checking to see if anything went wrong. It looks like it's working good. So um, so this is what the dashboard looks like once your server is set up. Um, this is all Hostify is. is uh, there's nothing really that magical about it. It's just uh, Hostify itself, the website, is... Uh, it's just a website to collect credit card information and um, create and it stores your temporary password to your account and it creates but the server it creates is um, it you get your own server um, when you sign up for a paid plan and uh, so that servers here uh, as you can see it's a subdomain of hostify.net that can be changed um, to your own custom name and uh, I'll just go ahead and log in and we'll get started with uh, part two of this video which is where I'm going to be showing you, um, uh, I'm going to be demonstrating connecting this device here. And um, when you first log in, it'll ask you to change your password. I'm just skipping past that real quick. And um, so yeah, so this is, uh, this is what Unify looks like. So I'm going to add this device and I've already uh, figured out its IP address on, uh, I used, I used uh, Zen Ma or InMap to figure out the IP address of uh, this access point right here. So I'm going to go ahead and log into it. The default credentials are UBNT, UBNT. And then the command that you run on the network device to connect it to your controller is set and form HTTP colon slash slash um, your server name. So for me, it's m0416.hostify.net colon 8080 slash inform and then you hit enter and in just a moment you'll see the device pop up hopefully right there so you see pending adoption you click this adopt button and then uh you go ahead and run the command a second time and now it should be um adopting and so the the device will reboot whoops that's going to keep doing that i'll just set a new password i guess So now the device should be adopting. It may go through a provisioning cycle where it's going to, uh, there it goes to provisioning status to um, update its settings. And um, once this finishes, it'll show up as connected. 
And in the meantime, we can go ahead and start setting up a wireless network. So, um, and you can you can see, uh, you might've noticed the light changed here from orange to green. So it is it should now be connected. Uh, it's still provisioning, but um, that means it's working. If you go to uh, settings, wireless networks, we're gonna create a new wireless network called Hostify and we can make it an uh, open network, that's fine. And so now that we've made this change, the device will actually, um, if, it, if it connects right now, it'll probably reboot again to get that, uh, that new configuration onto it. So we'll just wait for a minute and I can show you some of the other um, settings that are in here. There's not a lot of information yet because there's no data, but you'll be able to see uh, this will be uh, a place where you can look at different um, different statistics and um, and different things like that. Once you get some clients connected, they'll show up here. Um, you know, once I connect some devices to this wireless network, and uh, that that will show up there. There's a map thing um, where you can uh, you can add devices to it and uh, draw maps, all that kind of stuff. And there's uh, insights where you can look at uh, more statistic uh, type of information and uh, let's see how the device is coming along here. <laughs> it's still provisioning, so it's probably gonna reboot. Um, but yeah, you get your own server and uh, everything's all ready to go in just a few minutes, so it saves you a lot of time. And there we go, it's connected. So um, yeah, I can go ahead and upgrade the firmware. If I click down here, you can see um, you can see the Hostify network is now uh, being broadcast. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the firmware on it. But um, that pretty much concludes the demonstration. So um, yep, that's pretty much it. And also when uh, once your server is created, there's also some instructions here on uh, how to migrate. So for example, we just added a new device. So we followed these instructions here but you can also easily um, import your existing cloud key or server. And uh, there's just, there's some instructions here on how to do that, but it's really a easy three-step process. There is a uh, wizard. So if you go to, um, if you go to settings and then uh, export site, it'll walk you through this, this wizard. And so you'll do this on your old controller um, you'll download a configuration file, import it into the new controller, and then you'll tell the devices to contact the new controller, and that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, once again, my name is Riley with Hostify, and um, yeah, if you're looking for a unified controller service, let me know. Thanks.